Welcome back to another episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. We're here at Brewby Cinema Pub, still reviewing movies for you. We're not going anywhere. Uh, I'm Jimmy Martin with Slug Magazine. And I'm Jeff Weiss with MSN Entertainment. You can find Big Movie Mouth Off on Xfinity, Utah On Demand. Uh, there's Under Salt Lake Alternative, there's a sleeve saying Big Movie Mouth Off with new and old reviews. Also, you can get to the menu through Channel 1 or Channel 6 On Demand. You can like I said, you can find new and old reviews, things that are currently in theaters, things that are on DVD or Blu-ray or on demand. Ooh, fancy. Well, new in theaters this week. Yes. It's, it's the, let's not spoil too much, I'll say that. Yeah, there's it's some the debate as to what, where this, a what reboot, this is. Uh, a reboot, a reimagining. Reimagining, a sequel, a prequel, who the hell knows. Uh, it's the Evil Dead, or Evil Dead. Uh, basically this time around, uh, we get to go back to the cabin in the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, Fidi Alvarez is the director of this one. First time, first feature director, uh, found because of short films uh, by Sam Raimi, who is the producer on this one. So it just kind of got that blessing. You know, everybody who was involved in the original said, Godspeed, see what you can do. Uh, so basically, Jane Levy plays uh, an addict, I'd say uh, a teenager, or not a teenager, probably a little bit older, but an addict. And her friends and family take her out to the cabin. They say, you need to get over this addiction. Someone finds a, a human skin bound book and, you know. And wackiness and well, you, you peek into it. You know, why wouldn't you? Because it's covered in human skin mm -hmm. like you do. And barbed wire, too, because no one wanted that book out, obviously. Mm -hmm. But hey, clip that barbed wire off, open that book up, start reading things and see what happens. Well, what happens is a demon is released, possesses a girl, and holy hell, does wackiness ensue. Um, Please. really grossed out or huh? see things that just horrify me. Uh -huh. I laugh like really loud. I don't know what that says it, about it, A me. nervous laugh? <laughs> oh God. And I was laughing hysterically through this film. This is probably the most violent, mm -hmm. gross, just hideous, disgusting crap I've seen in a long time and I loved it for it. A I mean, a absolutely. And by the way, <laughs> let, let, let me point out that Fetty Alvarez, with this $17 million budget allegedly, most of the rev uh, effects are practical. As, oh, yeah. as in organic effects done with makeup and other special so effects. So they really cut limbs off. Yes. Well, <laughs> there's a minimum of CGI. Those are dedicated when, actors. When you see CGI, the CGI in the film, you'll understand. And by the way, let me take issue with anyone who will tell you that the first Evil Dead is a comedy. No. Because it's not, and neither is this film. <laughs> Although God, no. there is some well-placed humor. There's humor, and I think also maybe just, maybe I'm not the only one with this nervous laughter. Uh, this is the kind of film you do want to see with an entire audience. Yes. On opening night, and, and on a Friday night, get many and, of and, friends and, together. And, and at midnight. Yeah, absolutely. You want, it's got that, you know, you want to look at, you know, strangers that are next to you going like, did you just see that? You know, it, it's, it's that much fun. It's, it kind of reminds me, and not to compare, the, more of the experience, like those jackass movies. Right. Where everybody's just participating. You can scream, don't go in there. Ah! Like, no one's going to get mad at you for that. Like, you're no. allowed to do it in this kind of film. Unless, unless you bring a child. Well, then you are a jerk. Yeah, then you are parent. a jerk. And by the way. Or the worst babysitter ever. Absolutely, because this is a very R-rated, again, I cannot stress this enough, R-rated horror film. <laughs> and Limbs say, are hacked off. You say $17 million budget. I think at least $7 million is blood. Yes. Well, <laughs> uh, well, allegedly, there's a scene in there in which 50 million gallons of fake blood oh were God. used. 
Someone's gonna have a lot of mopping to do. Yeah, uh, yeah, clearly. It it really was. It's one of those films I think maybe come out once a year, where you just have that kind of fun in the theater. It kind of you know it just livens you up again, you know. And I give kudos to these guys because last year Cabin in the Woods came out. Yes, and, and it and kind of poked fun of the genre, like molded it. I mean, it, it didn't make fun of it. It just it paid homage to a lot of things that are kind of quirky. In yes, it. but but it was sort of myth deflating in the way that sure. Un Unforgiven did what it did to westerns. Yeah, yeah. Cabin in the Woods did to Cabin in the Woods well, yeah, horror movies. It, but, it's true, but, but it's almost like a magician showing you how he did his tricks. Right. And then these people came up, and then it's almost like, okay, I've shown you the traditional way to do these tricks. Come up with something better. Yep. And it's the next generation of magicians. That's how I see it. And these people came in, and they, they scared the hell out of me and grossed me out. It is very, very challenging. If you are faint of heart, you, Don't might, go. you might want to bring it a fibrillator. Uh, I hesitate to use the term, but I'm going to use it anyway. Do fun. It. Fun. Oh, yeah. Fun. And I say that as a horror fan. And by the way, yes, there are definite clues in the film as to whether this is a sequel or a remake. But we're not going to Or reimagining. You. you should be able to figure it out. But I will tell you, there are two things during the credits and after the credits. To stay. Yes, that will <laughs> also sort of answer those questions. See, and you can use that word because I, that was the, those are the, the two words that I came out of that movie was, it was scary and fun as hell. Right. And I, I, that's, I think it's perfectly fine to use those, that by, word. By the way, uh, I almost feel like we're sliding one of the performers, Jane Levy again, from TV's Suburgatory, yeah. who I think this is her breakout role because she is really, really good yeah. in this film. Yeah. And which is Are you not like her Jamie Lee Curtis Halloween kind of... I <laughs> really believe it is. We may have our new Scream Queen. She deserves it. She is great. And Fetty Alvarez, you have a good, promising career in front of you. <laughs> As a horror fan, I take great delight in saying three and a half stars, Jimmy. Oh, absolutely. No, I'm right there. Like, it, It's one of those things where, you know, they do have homages to the original... And you're sitting there giggling like it's like, oh, there's the chainsaw, <sighs> you know, and they use a chainsaw. And it's insane. It's just, oh, oh it's... they use a lot of things in this film. <laughs> like can what? you can you count them all? <laughs> right? No, it, it really is. Like, I mean, it's, I, like, it's one of those experiences in the theater that I just it reminds me that theater going can be a joyous experience and not just the guy texting in front of you. <laughs> and, absolutely. And by the way, let me also say, I now have a phobia of nail guns. <laughs> Three and a half for me too. Uh, I'm very pleased with this film, uh, and I, I think you are too. So for a horror film to get three and a half from both of us, that that says something that somebody's somebody's doing something fun with this genre. Absolutely. And there you have it. So go check out Evil Dead, and uh, we will catch you guys here next week for more movie reviews. Always at Brewery Cinema Pub. We'll see you then. Boo. <laughs>